Active Campaign Mid-Sequence. We're going to cover how to add contacts to an automation in the middle of it. And the way to do that is simply to use goals. So let's dive right in. So here's what it might look like. You might have an automation that allows people to get added in multiple ways. Um, and you want to kind of segment them through the automation. So for instance, the group that signs up to the family list gets the very first email, they get the second email, etc. However, the people that sign up to the wooding list don't get the family email, but do get all the subsequent emails. So what you want to do is put a goal after the first email somewhere. So in this case, I'm going to set a goal right here. And I am going to call it wooding. We'll click on add a goal and we want to do actions and in list. And in this case, we want it to be wooding. So the way this works now is somebody enters this automation via the family list. They're going to receive this email. They're going to wait a day. They're going to pass through the goal and then they'll get the next email. Somebody that adds themselves or gets added via this list is going to come in. They're going to jump over that first email, come down to here, get this email and continue on. So that's how you do it. One thing I'd also recommend is to prevent people from coming in multiple times is to have a goal at the very end that tags them just prior saying they've already been through this. So to accomplish that, just prior to the end of the automation, you want to apply a tag. And I've already created one called finish. And then just below that, you want to add a goal. So what this does is prevent somebody from coming in again and getting uh, a second copy of an email they may already have received. So let's go ahead and add a contact to each of these lists and see what happens. So I've, create, I've created one web form. This one's for family. Let's create another one for the other list. So we're going to add them to that particular list. And we're not going to ask for that. And then for the sake of this testing, we're going to actually turn off opt-in confirmation. And the reason I want to do that is because I won't get into an automation until I've confirmed my email address. But by turning it off, I will. So we're going to actually start with this one first. So let's go ahead. So when we go back here, there should be somebody I went to the family list and I'm going to end up right here. I'm not going to end up down here unless I was on the other list. So let's just refresh this. So there I am. Now let's go ahead and use the other list. So back to here now, I'm still going to be here. I'm going to have a different email address down here now because I skipped over based on meeting the goal. So there I am. So this concept can be expanded a little bit further and used for dripping content out over time. But more importantly, if somebody drops out of your automation, you can use that to put them right back in where they left off. We've done this for Active Campaign, Active Member 360 integrations. So that's how you add people mid sequence into an Active Campaign automation.